Example 7C, now we're gonna take this point, we've determined already that it's in quadrant four when we were looking at A and B in the previous video. So we're gonna look at quadrant four. Now if I rotate plus pi by two, that's 90 degrees. So that's going to put me here in to quadrant one. So my cast rule or my rules for quadrant one are that both X and Y are going to be positive. But what happens to the point? And again, I need another picture of my unit circle. This one's drawn to scale so I can use that. So again, let's just assume it was uh, this point instead. What happens when I move 90 degrees? So 11 pi by six, um, to going this way. So 90 degrees, I'm just gonna erase this from the, the previous question. That would be a right angle and it would be like this. And if you wanna think this would be 30 degrees plus another 60, so pi by three plus this distance, that's 90 degrees. What happens is your reference angle changed now. So um, your reference angle was pi by six, now it's pi by three. So it doesn't necessarily matter what those angles are, the point being that it did just change. So if it's 90 degrees, if you take a look at those coordinates, they switched places. So this is root three over two as the X and then the one half, now it's in the reverse order. So if you move 90 degrees into the quadrant next door, your ordered pairs will switch and then you still apply the cast rules. So that's what's happened here. So we're in quadrant one now, so instead of writing it three fifths, four fifths, we're gonna write four fifths and three fifths, and they're both going to be positive. Let's look at this one here. If we're in quadrant four, that's always our starting point. Now we're gonna go minus pi um, by two, so minus 90 degrees puts us into quadrant three. So if we go 90 degrees and we end up in that quadrant next door, those X and Y coordinates for the same reason here, switch place places. So we're going to write this as four fifths and three fifths, but in quadrant three, tan's the only positive one, so cos and sine are both negative, or you can think it's negative cos on the x-axis and negative y in quadrant three. So if we were to summarize this, if you end up adding or subtracting pi or a multiple of pi, then you end up in the opposite quadrant, or a multiple, I guess, odd multiple of pi. If you add or subtract two pi or four pi, you end up with a coterminal angle in the same spot. Um, what's gonna happen is the x and y um, stay the same, but the sign changes according to the quadrants or the cast rule, okay? If you end up in the quadrant next door, so plus or minus pi by two, could also be three pi by two, you could take, you know, uh, as long as it's that, you know, got a multiple of pi by two in there, the X and Y are gonna switch the switch values and the signs according to the quadrant. So signs are always gonna happen, and that's because the reference angle has now changed on those.